Hello, um, what's up guys, it's uh, part two, and um, yeah, um, let's get on to number six. If you want to change the system, vote for someone else. I mean, all I can say is, as George Carlin said, if voting was so effective, they wouldn't let you vote, right? Simple as right? People, so many people today think that honestly voting for Joe Biden or voting for Donald Trump or voting for RFK Jr. or voting for someone else is honestly going to make a difference. It really isn't. Like maybe in some cases it might. I reckon if Donald Trump gets re-elected as the US president, the war in Ukraine and Russia will be stopped or at least will be stopped eventually and there won't be as much damage done. Because with Joe Biden in charge, this He's, he's funding the, you know, but that's the Liberal Democrats for you. They're so corrupt. Um, and like here in the UK with Tory and Labour, you know, the fact that people think that voting in Labour is going to change things, that the NHS is going to stay public and that it's not going to be turned into a private healthcare system run under capital interest, private capital interest. Hell fucking no. It's going to go private regardless, right? Maybe we vote, um, vote independent, maybe it might be different. I don't really know much about independent, to be honest. But I'm not obviously an expert in politics, right? As you can tell. But I do have my opinions, which I think I should share. And I think voting for Labour is not going to make much difference. I just don't think it is. The rates of immigration, illegal immigration won't change. The NHS will still go private. Inflation will still continue to go up. The NHS is still going to continue to be underfunded even if it doesn't go private anyway. It's going to be fucking pointless anyway. So it ain't going to make a difference, regardless of who you vote for. No, it just isn't. No, I just don't agree with voting. You know, as I've said, if voting's so effective, they wouldn't let you do it anyway, because they want to remain in power with these rich people, and they'll do anything. So they'll put little fake distractions like, vote for me, vote for me, and they'll virtually signal and say, if you vote for me, this will, this will happen, and I'll oh, make the country great again, and yet they always get voted in, and they never make a difference, and yet people still think that I'm a retard or think that I'm useless or things like that just for not voting, which I don't care anyway, because when a normie says I'm useless, that usually means I'm useful. So it doesn't mean shit coming from someone like that anyway, especially boomers, man, who are so fucking delusional a lot of the time. And that's another thing as well. Number seven, putting labels on you like you're just a white man. So therefore what you say doesn't matter. But like if I went up to a liberal and said that Trump should be should be voted in ahead of Joe Biden, so many fucking people, so many fucking people would literally just say, you're just a white man. You're just a white, straight, heterosexual, cis man. I'm like, since when has my sexuality and my race got anything to do with what I'm saying? And yet I thought you libtards were the ones who are meant to be not racist. But you're saying that I'm relevant, and what I'm saying at least, just because I'm a white man. Or because of something that happened 200 years ago. Sounds a bit stupid if you ask me. Really, really fucking does. Like, what, what, like, what is wrong with these fucking libtards saying shit like this? You shouldn't be going to the media. You're just a white man. <laughs> men are men are the worst. Even though I've dated the worst men imaginable, imaginable. So I'm just gonna blame it and this. So shut the fuck up. Like I mean, I'm so fucking tired. This is why I don't have TikTok and I have social media. It's just full of these fucking brain dead hoes who literally who choose bad men. By the way, like I can spot these men from a mile away and can tell that they're pieces of shit. And these women still go after them because they want the drama and the validation from them. Women like bad guys and this whole nice guys don't finish last they obviously do
because I was the nice guy and I didn't get fucking anywhere with them. That's why I'm not going to try and bend our ass over, bend ass over feet over them. I'm literally just going to say, look, you're going, we're going back to your place, or we're fucking or what? That's it. That's all I want from these hoes now. No, I'm not going to try and be nice to them or try and make sure that if they want to see me and be extra nice and shit, because it isn't going to get me anywhere with these women. It just isn't. To be fair, people doing that to me in general annoys me, so I guess I can kind of understand from their point of view, I suppose, but it's still fucking stupid. You know, like if someone's constantly being nice up to me all the time just to get with me, it would kind of annoy me. Whereas if someone was at least blunt about me, it would make me more interested in them, to be honest. But then again, as a guy, I, I suppose if I'm going to get sucked off in the end, I'll fucking do it, I suppose. But yeah, like people just putting labels on you, man. Like my mum, from a young age, just say, you're autistic. You, 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 you're not athletic because you're autistic. I'm not, I'm not athletic, mum. Because you don't fucking teach me any sports. You never take me anywhere to go out and play football or anything. You just kept me locked indoors or kept me locked inside my nans. Was you fucking, you chucked me in the conservatory on my own and fucking argued and chatted shit with your fucking family members. Was I got left there on my fucking own. Didn't get taught a single thing. None of you guys ever had any positive engagement with me other than fucking cuddling and kissing me and stuff. And saying that I'm special and saying that I'm just autistic and that. My, I'm unique and all this fucking labelling, fucking retarded, toxic, positive bullshit. Instead of actually setting me down, look, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. You never did any of that. But yeah, somehow, I know, it's just because of the way my brain works, therefore I'm fucks. That's basically what she said to me at a young age. You're fucks. Even if the intention wasn't necessarily bad, she was still saying, you're fucks. Just from her saying, your brain works different, you're autistic, therefore your brain works different. That upset me as a kid. I fucking hated it when she said that. I literally hated it when she said that. It literally made me feel t it made me feel shit about myself. You know, it made me hate myself at points. You know, it made me feel so ashamed for having autism. Because I just felt like I was being put down all the time and being told that my brain's different and that I'm fucked in life. You know, it just fucking annoyed me, man. And she'll deny it. And again, like with A as well, I feel like online and like of a lot of my YouTube comments, I get shamed for not like wanting to be around my family if there's no like severe reason. So the family, um, so the fact, because the fact that my family never physically beated me, they never sexually assaulted me, they never, they weren't always putting me down. And I don't think their tensions were all that bad, to be honest. Whether they're narcissists or not, they're definitely dysfunctional, but I don't know if they're narcissists or not. But, um, but I don't know if they're narcissists or not, but they're definitely dysfunctional. They all love to play happy families, they always see each other, but yet every now and then there's always a fucking argument. And it's not like a short argument, it'll go on for days. When they could literally, like they know each other, they live nearby, so it's not like, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's like they could easily just chat to each other and sort things out very simply, but they never do. And then they, and, and a few days later they get back together and pretend like nothing's happened. It's a I have a really weird family, like a really weird dysfunctional family, man. Like it feels, I, I've always, my family was always really weird and unique compared to other families. That's one thing I noticed. But yeah, like I hate the fact that so many people online will, well, I don't really read the comments, hate comments. I don't even get many hate comments anymore, to be honest. I literally don't even have to ignore them anymore because I just don't get them. Seems to me like ever since I've like said, like, come on, hate comments, come my way. No one sends hate comments. It's like they know that because it doesn't bother me as much as it used to at least, they don't get a thrill from pissing me off. It's like they get a thrill from pissing me off. This goes to show you, innit? Like a lot of people that insult you aren't doing it because they truly feel that way about you. They're just doing it because they're dragging their insecurities onto you, you know? But, um... But, yeah, like, I hate the fact that you get shamed for not wanting to for uh, being around family I fucking, or hating family for no re severe reason. Like, if to me, if your life is shit and your mum still, or your dad, still didn't raise you correctly and you weren't born into a super rich family and you weren't good looking, you've got every right to hate your family. Honestly, I really do. I think, I think it would be a bit odd if you want to see your parents all the time or 
to at least not hate them to some degree because of the way you turned out and the way you look and all that stuff because you never feel to society's demands or you never felt you never had the ideal genetics to be optimal healthy like with me my dad has bad sleep genetics so because of him I've got bad sleep genetics that's why I don't sleep well at night because it's not like I haven't tried to exercise more eat healthier take supplements do meditation be into a routine and all and take vitamin d and all that stuff guess what none of those things have worked so it's like why am i not sleeping well then it's obviously genetics that's that's the only thing i can say so i'm fucked i'm never going to go to the gym and pack on lots of muscle mass and be ripped that just never will happen so yeah that just that just fucking sucks you know, and I know that that's, a lot of that's down to my mum and dad's fault. So I've got every right not to like them because they didn't teach me enough and they didn't, they were dysfunctional as fuck together and I never got raised in a proper two-parent household. It fucked me over massively. So I've got every right not to like them. That's why once my dad's bought me a car and he's fucked off up to Wales, I'm not going to bother with him. You know, and I won't bother with my mum anymore because I can't stand both of them, putting it bluntly. You know, my mum keeps demanding me to come and see the rabbits. You know, you need to come and see them. I'm like, why do I need to come and see them? I don't care, mum. Go away. I don't like you. Get the fucking hint. She's like, she can't let go of me. She's so overprotective. I just want to fucking throw this pen at her eye. Literally, just my fucking head in. But um, anyway, um, nine, having random people come up to you. I get if they're coming up to you to ask for directions and things like that, right? So like, oh, excuse me, young man, um, do you know where Wilden Hall is? That's a place that isn't too far from here. Well, it's actually, it's about like nearly an hour's, uh, an hour's walk away, to be honest. But um, yeah, um, I don't know, just go there and you know what I mean? I tell them and I try my best, right? So hopefully they at least get somewhat, I get it somewhat right. That doesn't bother me. But it's when they come up to you and make random fucking jokes to you. Like had this random guy come up to me the other day and he just came up to me and he said, you look like, you look, are you, did you have a hangover or did you just, or is it lunch? Is it breakfast? Is it lunch? And I was like, why are you asking me that? Like, I don't even know you. Why are you just kindly coming up to me? Like, I don't, I'm not angry at the guy. I'm just confused. And it is really weird because he, he touched my shoulder like this, like this when doing it. I'm like, why are you touching my shoulder? I don't even know who you are. And then we're about to get on the bus. And then him and his wife were arguing who goes on first. I'm guessing it was his wife. And he literally just said, who, who do you think should go first? You know, why is, you know, I'm like making some joke about beating each other up. And I'm just like, I don't care, mate. <laughs> I literally don't care. I just want to get on the fucking bus and block you guys out. Like, do you know what I mean? But it's so annoying when they come up to you. And they just chat random shit to you, make random weird jokes to you. Like all this small talk or all this stuff that even if it is not small talk and they do generally care at least, it's annoying because you don't care about them anyway. Because I don't, I don't care about most people. And the thing is, though so many people get offended by that. Oh, you're so unempathetic. Like, most people don't care about you. Even your most, even your parents don't care about you. Like honestly, like the people on my Discord care more about me than what my parents do. Because if they truly care, they would have taught me stuff. They would have taught me how to be a fucking man, but they didn't teach me anything. They didn't teach me how to be a man. They didn't teach me how to approach women. They didn't teach me how to get a car. My dad is willing to teach me to drive, to be honest. I'll give back to him. But my mum didn't teach me anything. All they did was provide a roof over my head and cause a bunch of drama and just put me into a bunch of shit I never wanted to be in and put me into a life that I never wanted to be born into anyway. You know, that's why I won't have kids because I don't want to repeat the same mistakes that my parents did and my grandparents and so forth. And again, being uh, looked down on for being autistic and stuff. That's another reason why, because I got bullied at school. And I don't wish my kid to be bullied the same way that I got bullied. You know, that's, this is my attempt. For, I had to make it short, obviously, because I don't have long left. But I just find it, you know, I hate it where people say, well, being autistic is a gift, and yet people look down on you. And that's kind of to do with um, the, being thrown with labels and stuff, to be honest. I, I suppose I'll count it as that as well. But um, yeah, that's... That's all there is, really. Um, my 10 annoying things that people do or say to me. Um, if you like these two videos, because I did part one, obviously. Ideally, watch that one first. 
And um, yeah, if you want to subscribe for more content, leave a like and um, yeah, and uh, peace.